Webflow recently released a lot of new updates that helps designers and developers become better and faster at what they do. In this video, I wanna cover some of the most powerful updates that they just released. So let's dive right in into the first one, which is the CMS on canvas editing. Now I can't tell you how long I've waited for this, but basically the old problem was that to edit a CMS collection, we had to go into the actual collection itself. In this example, go to works, click on the actual CMS item, and then type in whatever we want, click save, and now we can go ahead and publish. But Webflow has allowed us to just double click on anywhere which has this kind of purple outline and it'll allow us to actually change the CMS item itself directly on the page. So this is something that can help us move much faster. We don't need to go into the actual item and change it. This is just directly inside of the page. And we can see that as soon as we stop editing something, we get this little pop-up that says the edits are automatically saved. So the next time we publish this, it'll be directly live. So in this case, let's go ahead and test this. I'm gonna go ahead and open this live on the site. So we got 60 plus reasonable components, great. Now I'm gonna just change this to be 60 minus, click away. I'm not doing anything else here. I'm just gonna publish. And we can see that when we go ahead and open it again, we get this 60 minus. So that is so much faster than having to go in, change it, save it, upload it, blah, 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 blah. Super simple, well done Webflow. Next up is gonna be the Webflow apps. Now there used to be apps, of course, but what they've done to the apps has completely changed it. So there's so many more apps and it's so much easier to actually find the app that you want. There are these categories here. So for example, if I wanna go into design and I wanna find maybe an SVG import, which is a great app, we can go ahead and install this app and we'll find it directly inside of the workspace that we have. So that's a super, super simple way to find these new apps and install them. Now I can see Webflow apps absolutely taking off and people already have started making a lot more apps and uploading to the system. But Webflow apps is something that can help people create websites much faster. Now I hope this doesn't turn into the WordPress integration problems where there were so many different updates and things that things started breaking. And I don't think it'll turn into that. And so far it's absolutely not that. But let's just keep in mind that is mainly why people don't like WordPress is for these kind of integrations. But so far, my experience with the Webflow apps has been absolutely phenomenal and it's super, super simple to use apps. Next up, we have the static pages template. Now this is something recent that Webflow also just released, but basically we can create templates for individual pages or we can actually buy templates for individual pages as well. And so if we want to, we go ahead and create this new fake template that we're just creating here. I add in a bunch of different sections from the examples that it gives me, a couple of the features. We can also use Tilebit to create this. I'm gonna go ahead and just create a bunch of stuff here. And if we wanted to, then we can go ahead and create a new page and we can call this page name example ascent one create and it'll see that it created a new page based on this template so we can kind of create these almost cms style workflows where we have templates and layouts and everything that's already preset but it's not necessarily cms so this is a great way to create those individual pages with that same style that isn't necessarily cms so for example if you have a feature page or service page that is very similar to the other ones you don't necessarily need to go ahead Go in here, duplicate it, go back, change all the documentation, change the, the meta styles, change all that. It's just simply clicking on the plus here and it'll create this new page for you. Now you can create as many of these templates as you need. There's so many different examples that you can create. And for example, portfolio pages would be a great one, although you could use CMS for that. But this is really cool because sometimes CMS it can become a bit of a pain in Webflow if you need a lot more fields. Now, recently with Maco Studio, we are finding that the Webflow fields can be a little bit limited. But a good example actually is the course page that I started to build for the Webflow side of things. But then I decided that I wanted to do a freelance course first. And so then I had to kind of scrap this. I had to duplicate it, paste it back into Webflow. And it was just kind of a mess. But if we had the static template page thing a couple months ago, this would have been a lifesaver. So this has been a quick overview on the summer releases that they just did recently. But I'm gonna leave a link to this page here where they have all of the actual releases that they did. But I quickly just covered page templates, page building, the CMS on canvas editing, the new apps that they have, 
And so this is gonna be a big, big change for Webflow and also the AI optimization is gonna be huge when it becomes more integrated. For now, it's just available for enterprise, which is a little bit of a shame, but I hope at some point that they do allow the regular users to use this AI optimization, as well as releasing the program refresh pretty soon. If you guys have any questions or comments about the recent releases, I think these are really exciting and it's cool to see that Webflow actually cares about the users and it tries to create new products to help out designers and regular people, as well as also enterprise, of course, because that is gonna be a big part of of their business. All in all, I think these are some great updates. If you guys have any comments, questions, or just you wanna talk about it, leave a comment down below under that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.